that's a lot of seven series. What's up guys, it's Drifts and Lifts here. All right, so today's episode is uh, one for the Volvo lovers of my channel. So uh, if you watch this channel for uh, Dodge Diesel stuff or any of that kind of stuff, um, you're probably gonna be a little bit bored by this video. This one is for the true Volvo purist. So I'm with my good friend Volvo George here. So uh, he's a, a definitely a Volvo enthusiast. He's probably the only guy in town that likes Volvos as much as I do. So um, he's got a wicked collection of cars here. Um, he's got a bunch of different, you know, trim models and stuff like that. So I uh, figured it'd be a cool little video for you guys to see. Um, he's been collecting Volvos for how long, George? 20 years. 20 years. So uh, this is what you have to show for it now. Yeah. <laughs> Wicked. Um, okay, so let's start with your your daily your main daily driver, right? Uh, I switch them I guess up, you, man. They're all daily drivers. So fair enough. Yeah. So this is my 95 940 Turbo with some go fast parts in it. Her name's Super Speedy Silver. All my cars have names. <laughs> you don't <laughs> nice. name your car, means you don't love it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So she's a lot of fun to drive, but getting up on high mileage, 450,000 K. It's up that much, eh? It's up that much. Wow, she, crazy. She's my sleeper. And Grandpa's uh, little Volvo. And so this car's got an IPD cam in it, IPD I guess? IPD cam. It's got uh, chips from uh, the Lost Art of okay, California yep. for fuel and ignition. Some classic turbo bricks it's got, chips. It's got a manual turbo boost. Yep. Turbo gauge. Up to 12 PSI or uh, something. Um, cone air filter yeah so it's front off the line it pops off the line pretty good yeah this thing is put pretty similar spec to like my 940 or whatever um usually they you know they go pretty good once you got a boost controller and a cam in them they're pretty they're sporty enough to be a pretty fun car to drive uh yeah it almost looks like this door is a little bit faded eh yeah it seems to be a little two-tone and it came with the dents on the back oh yeah uh, that's the kid that owned it before me you know there we go so got the right. adjustable adjustable ipd cam gear yes so um, it's interesting because this is this front end. You know what I mean? Usually the night, because the 94, 95 sometimes have the 740 front end like my car does. What do you mean with the solid headlights? Yeah, mine has the mine I, has the 740 I, I front end. Oh, did I you? Change these out. Ah, they, there you they go. Were solid light. I put the fog lights in them. Ah, okay, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is a better front end. It, it looks a little nicer. It's yeah. more more yeah. classy. That's why I did it. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, sweet. So uh, yeah, 13 C turbo. So. Um, it's funny, this is the one, yeah, did you put a new turbo on this ever? That, I changed the turbo, it wasn't new, it was yeah. used. Yeah, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, it's a 13C and Mitsubishi spools up really fast. Oh yeah, super quick spool. Yeah, yeah. These, uh, it's funny because the 1990 13Cs had this blow-off valve style. This has a cool blow-off sound. I, you yeah. gotta hear it when I get it on the road, you haven't heard it yet. I guess this kind of helps a bit too, yeah. eh? A little yeah, bit louder. Super loud yeah. blow-off, uh, it sounds cool. Yeah, you got the Turbo Smart manual boost controller. Okay, so yeah, pretty high kilometers, um, but you know, it's still, it's a red block and um, George, you maintain your cars fairly well. When they need stuff, you give it to them. Sort yeah, of, they well. get their oil changes. Yeah, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> for sure. That's all they really need. Yeah. All right, so uh, let's head over to this car. This car is uh, Black Beauty. It's a 1988 760 GLE with the V6 in it. Uh, it's got 478,000 kilometers on it. That's insane. And uh, yeah, this is um, our luxury car. It's a really cool ride. It's just smooth on the freeway. It's a great touring car. It looks super nice. The uh, the paint and like the chrome trim and everything's still in really nice shape, which makes it makes it stand out pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm the second owner on this one. Oh really, hey? Yeah. 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 And it's funny because you always hear like the V6 models not be, being able to make it past whatever amount of kilometers, you know, like 200,000, but. Change your oil. <laughs> Got to change your oil. Yeah. Um, so yeah, George, I've been I've been hassling him <laughs> to get this spoiler off it, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I'm gonna have to find another one. Uh, <laughs> I had to drill ten holes for that. Yeah, so that's not coming <laughs> off. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this car is it's cool. Like George actually, you know, in the summertime he drives this quite a bit. I see him cruising around town. Um, super clean car. Uh, the V6. I remember. You know what's funny is I remember going to look for a 7 Series, like this is when I first got into Volvos, yeah. and uh, I found one for a killer deal, it was like $500 for a 7, 760 I guess, mm -hmm. right? I assumed, that I didn't know the 760 was a V6 back then, right. and uh, I walked up and then I, I remember popping the hood and being like, what is this motor? <laughs> Yeah, super nice. It's got the uh, the 760 front end on it. Um, it's crazy, man. You don't. It's a lot of kilometers, and you kept it in pretty good shape. Yeah, it's in really good shape. Yeah, yeah. Considering. No, no. Over the interior. The interior is pretty good too. Oh, yeah. Ah, it's got the 760 interior. So if you guys uh, new to Volvo, the 760s had a little bit more of a upgraded kind of trim package. Like they had um, electronic you know seats adjustments and that kind of thing um the dash is a little bit different i believe the wheels also like electronic tilt or something yeah it's tilt not electronic not electronic yeah, yeah. 
So the, uh, any other 740 and 940 wouldn't have a tilt steering. It would be fixed in one position. So uh, yeah, these were probably a lot more expensive than a normal 740 from the factory, right? Yeah, an 88 is about 32,000. It's a lot of money. In That's like, can something like 70 an hour yeah. more, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, so Black Beauty. Um, Head over to this car here, the 7, 760. So, what we got here? 1989 760 with less than 200,000 kilometers on it. We call this one Gray Beauty. I know, not very imaginable, <laughs> but this is Gray Beauty. Uh, it's another one of the luxury rides, V6. Uh, it's really nice uh, to ride. That's low kilometers. Yeah. Yeah, two, oh, yeah. somewhere around 200. Yeah. Gosh, you... So, yeah, another clean 760 interior. Uh, it's is it? Yeah, it's oh yeah, it's this weird like side pop yeah, thing. Yeah. <laughs> are the seats in good shape? Are you just protecting them? Oh. Gotta give her a better pop. There we go. Uh, it's just because no, this is the winter car. Now these things park under trees, so. Oh yeah. All yeah. 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 Is the is the engine bay actually a different size than a 760? Like it's it almost is. it's almost like there's some extra stuff going yeah, on up there, it's, right? It's, back it's like farm. pushed really, yeah, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, I think it is. Huh. These things are great to do a V8 conversion on because they've already got the stiffer, true uh, heavier suspension. And, and I was reading brakes. something about the sway bar fits uh, the boil pans or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah it's it's funny this motor has so many like lines and vacuum lines and stuff going everywhere, like. Oh, yeah. It's probably it's probably more simple than I'm making it seem, it's, but it's LH 2.2. There you go. It's just on six cylinders. Uh, and actually, this is a three inch LH 2.4 math or 2.2 right. math. Right, and a three inch throttle body too. Ah, no, you yeah. can't have them. Huh, interesting. <laughs> yeah, because I, I actually found one of these maths from actually I went and got a you know set of headlights from a 760, and these uh, you can kind of mess around and like put bigger injectors and go bigger math, and so yeah, pretty cool guys. Um, you know, I'm sure you, you you're not planning on selling any of these cars anytime no, soon, I right? I don't sell them. I keep them. Yeah. That's your best bet. I feel like in today's day and age, guys, um, we should be keeping the cars that we really love because uh, as the days go by, it's going to get more and more expensive and difficult to get them, get our hands on them. So um, I'm kind of, I want to get a couple more 740s and just hold on to them and really, you know, don't destroy them at the drift uh, track <laughs> and that kind of thing. <laughs> you know, a couple good ones. I got one really clean blue one that I'm going to build, but I need one more clean wagon maybe. Yeah. So, uh, okay, this is uh, George's recent project, I guess. I just got this on the road yesterday. It is a 1990 GLE 16 valve. 16 valves. And it had a destroyed head. Uh, so it got a motor swap because I had a spare 16 valve sitting on the ground. Yep. So I finally got it done. The engine hasn't run since 2009. I bought this car in 2017. It was wow. parked at a friend's house under trees. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, I got her going yesterday. The engine has... The upgraded oil pump pulley, grade 12 bolt in that. It's the oil pump pulley. Oh. The bolt was prone to breaking. It was only a grade five. And I that's see. what happened to her. The bolt broke and that, there goes your timing belt. Yeah. And then there goes your head. So it's more or less one little bolt that can destroy the whole show, more or less. So um, yep. it's kind of, you know, you, you can you can upgrade it to, like George said, a grade 12 bolt. And then that uh, fixes the problem right. forever yeah. or hopefully. I'll take a little walk around this thing, check it, check yeah, it out. She is actually in a really nice shape. It is actually, yeah. So um, it's so funny, guys, because you you know you're a true Volvo guy if you're like if you look at a 740 and you get excited about the 16 <laughs> Volvo logo yeah. on the back. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, pretty clean car, so uh, no really dents or anything. Should be should be a good keeper for a while. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm gonna just call this one the 16 valve. Fair enough, yeah. For it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Most of my cars get names, but sometimes they'll just be like the 940 or whatever, you know? <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, so uh, this is La Volvo George's last car here. So um, he's owned this thing, like you said, since 2009. Yep. And this is more like the daily driver. You know, you got to go pick up a couch or whatever you got to do. It's got trailer hitch, roof rack. Yeah, so it's pretty versatile machine, um, pretty daily driver spec. So uh, what year is this? This is a 1989 89. with 560,000 Ks on That's it. wicked. Never anything <laughs> done to it. Um, it's an eight valve naturally aspirated, whopping 114 horsepower. <laughs> it's kind of like a ride on lawnmower. Yeah, literally. <laughs> she has never let me down ever. I redid the interior, the headliner. I replaced every broken piece of plastic inside it. The colors. You got oh. some tan and blue combo. Hey. That was like goldy. I want to show uh, 
all the Volvo people how to get cup holders in your Volvo. Let's see this. All of my Volvos have this. It's like an 850 armrest with cup holders. And it just bolts right on or? I just poke it on there, on man. Nice. Oh, yeah, I no just doubt. make it work. I use a couple of self-tapping <laughs> screws and, and uh, there you go. All my Volvos have this. There you go. I even put it in that one I got going yesterday. Nice, nice. Yeah, I did that this morning. See what I do is I take out the center console and then I just like put it in the little like thing by the e-brake. Yeah, <laughs> I, get, I get one cup, yeah. The reason this is so reliable is this LH 2.4 NA. This is like, the, in my opinion, like the most reliable ones. I think it's LH 2.2? 2.4. Is it 2.4? 89 was only, is a 2.4. Yeah, yeah. I've never even noticed. Really? Because nothing's ever gone wrong with it. Unless, <laughs> unless it's like a weird like 88 build or something, you know what I mean? But um. It's been the most reliable car. There we go. Okay, see the, the... Oh, it is! Right? <laughs> Holy moly, I had no idea, man. So, uh... Wow, you it's, taught me something today. There you go. So, these cars were, uh, the fuel injection system was L uh, Bosch LH 2.2 up until 1989 for the turbo models. But, um, so in 1990, the turbo model switched to LH 2.4, which is like the updated version of that. But in 1989, the NA models switched one year before the turbo models to LH 2.4. So, that's what this car is. And 2.4 is like a little more updated, like it has like a diagnostics thing there. Um, it's just, yeah, it's a generally a little bit better of, uh, of a fuel injection system. Uh, but how you can always tell is you just read the math. You got the 016 at the end, and that's a 2.4 car. So, um, and I guess you could check out the, there's the, there's yeah, the box with the I guess the, tester. I guess the LH2.2s don't good. have the box on no, the tester, yeah. No, they don't have that. That's an insane amount of kilometers, and that's the original motor, I guess, yep. eh? Yeah. Nothing's been done to her. I mean, if you know, an NA red block, they don't really lose like life. They kind of, if you do the, the maintenance on them, they don't really, you're never going to blow them up, really. No. Nope. Um, like it'll probably go to a million kilometers, you yes, know what I mean? I was just gonna say that. You could get a million out of them if you take care of yeah. them without any major anything. I think that should be your life goal is to get this one to a million. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of driving. It's a lot of driving, yeah. Well, the <laughs> highest mileage car in the world is a Volvo with three million miles. That's right, isn't three it? Three million Isn't it like a P1800 or something? P1800. That's right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't know. This is uh, you know, Volvo George isn't gonna get rid of any of these cars anytime soon. So, uh, question for you. Why, why no 240s? Um, I had a 240 and then I got into the 740s and I discovered all my 240 parts and yep. I, I got Kinda into stuck the 740s. With them. Yeah, I, I like the console in the middle. Um, 240s don't have that. You're right, they don't have that. You know, interesting. Just, yeah. I mean, 240s are great, but. Yeah, they're great. I just know? think these are slightly just a better built car. I don't know, they're just a little more they car. They stop the rusting in these, they don't rust. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the 940s basically don't rust. No. You, you'll never see one with 740s rust. 740s don't rust either. No, unless they're, unless they're the older ones. Um, before the year 1988, they definitely rust, as you can see with my panel wagon. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the panel wagon. But uh, yeah, so anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, uh, Volvo George is local to me, so uh, we're good buddies and uh, we always do Volvo stuff. So uh, maybe I'll, you know, we'll get them on the channel some other time. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll teach you how to drift or something. Drifting again. Yeah, yeah. I want to do that again. Totally, yeah. yeah. Well, I got, a, I got a new turbo for the wagon, so I'll be up and running pretty soon. Cool. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, but anyways guys, so uh, yeah, me and me and George both are uh, full 7.9 series guys So uh, we kind of stick to that and like George said, um, you know He kind of got into the 7.9 series and he you know, he accumulated a bunch of parts and he kind of stuck with it um, That's basically what I did. Uh, I you know, I'll never go to a 240 just because even though they're the same motor, it's a whole different car, different suspension, different everything. So um, there's no point in, you know, going all into that. And plus, I just like these cars better. I just think, you know, eh, I just like them better. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, and Volvo liked them better, too. Volvo made it because they wanted to make a better car. Right. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was supposed to be the new, the new thing. Yeah. Um, but anyways, guys, so I'll leave you there. Uh, thanks to George for letting me check out his, uh, his selection here and, um, stuff to come for the channel. Uh, like I just said to George here, we got a new turbo coming for the panel wagon. So that's going to be up and running pretty soon. I got the Cummins all done. So we're going to be going drifting that on some cool road and, uh, yeah, like, and subscribe for Harry Volvo nips. Peace out.